my child just doesn't listen to me even when I say him that or say her that um, it's okay you can come back to the video later we'll just have lunch and then we'll come back or maybe you can complete your homework and then you can go back to whatever you've been doing whatever you want to do my child just doesn't listen to all these things and because he doesn't listen to me when I say it when I talk to him I tend to shout I tend to yell I tend to raise my voice or I use that as a bribe only if you eat this you will get your screen time. Only if you write this, you will get your play time. Are you going through the same boat? Then stay with me until the end of this video and you will exactly understand why this is happening and what you can do for this to not happen. Hello and welcome to this video. This is Sujaya, your intuitive parenting coach. Now, speaking about why does your child not listen to you when you tell him, again, there is the need of the child is different, maybe playing videos, or watching videos or playing games or doing craft, doing coloring, doing drawing, whatever it is. What is your need? Your need was maybe the child, if the child comes to the meal table or if the child just finishes the homework, maybe some kind of dependency is done and I can go back to whatever I want to do. That's your need. Yes. So now for the needs to match for your child to understand your need and for you to understand your child's need, you are trying to talk to the child. Oh my God, my child just doesn't listen to me. Just doesn't listen to me that he can get back to that video even after his lunch, even after his meal time, even after his play time, he can get, go back, always go back to the video time, to the screen time. But he doesn't listen to me. If that is your question, my dear parent, it is not about your child not listening to you, but come closer. It is about your child not believing you. Yes, my dear parent, your child finds it hard to believe you when you kind of promise him that you will be getting this when, once you do that. You can have the sweet after you have your food. You can get back to this after you do this for me. Yes, you didn't want to get into that hardcore bribing kind of thing. You will get this only when you do this. That's a different stuff. Obviously, we are not supposed to be doing that being in this space, right? But yes, I'm not doing that hardcore bribing stuff. I'm trying to make him understand, but still he's not listening to me. It is not about listening, my dear parent. Your child finds it hard to believe you when you tell him that you can go back to it once you are done with it. Because, let me tell you, because since his infancy, since he was a child, since he was toddlerhood, one year old, two year old, there have been so many things for which your child might have cried. Just close your eyes and run that reel in your mind. Your child was crying out to get some things, wanting some things, looking for something. Could be screen, could be candy, could be some kind of dessert, some sweet dish, which you think will give you, give him cavities, will cause cavities or whatever it is. And you, what did you do? You said, you kind of diverted the child. You said, yes, 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 you will get it. We can always give it to you. And then you're carrying your child and you're taking it to, taking your child to another place. And then by the time the child again recalls, what was it that it was he or she was crying for? And then the child comes back to the space, the earlier space, it's vanished. The phone is vanished, the screen is vanished, the sweet dish is vanished, the candy is vanished. And again the child starts crying, crying, crying for it because he knows that he see, he had seen it there in the refrigerator, he had seen the dairy milk and now it's vanished right after he asked and right after the parent told him that yes, 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 you would be getting it, it's vanished. Yes, you have kept it, you have removed it from that place and you have kept it where your child cannot see, cannot find it. So what did your child learn? All these promises that adults do, maybe parents, maybe any adult out there, they do, they need not happen realistically. And when I, once I move out of sight of whatever it is that I want, it will vanish. It will not come to me. There are people out there who are kind of pouncing on that or looking to hide it, to keep it away from my sight. That is what your child has understood from all the successful diversions that you have been doing for your child. Yes, maybe you are concerned. Yes, maybe you've done it with a good intention. But still, that is what your child is learning. 
that whatever it is that my parent is promising me that I would be getting this candy, I would be getting this sweet. But after five minutes, you know what? All they want is, they want me to forget about it. They want me to not cry about it. They want me to get diverted from it. And that is what they want. Yes, parent, your child has already understood that. So now the child is four year old, four and a half year old, five year old, five and a half year old. And still you are, um, yes, now you are maybe not, you are not hiding it from that place. But you are trying to talk to your child saying after this you can get back to that beta. You just finish this and you can get back to this beta. This will always be there for you. But your child finds it hard to believe you because once your child is moving out of the sight, the thing which he was wanting is vanishing since his childhood, since her childhood. And that is what your child, the pattern, this pattern is what your child has learnt. That this is what will happen if I move out. Things are not in my control. Something happens and it just it just goes out of my sight. Yes? If you've got this point, just type out got it in the chat box. And if you have had any experience, any memory, when I told you to close your eyes and recall that memory where you have diverted your child successfully by hiding some stuff after your child has seen it, after your child has seen it, not before your child has seen it, but after your child has seen it, then just type it, type that experience in the chat box. If it's funny, it's funny. Or if you just type out, I, I know it in the chat box, in the comments box. Now, so what you can do, so maybe your child is a four and a half year old or a five year old or a five and a half year old. So what can you do at this point of time? The first thing that you can do at this point of time is first to establish trust with your child that yes, my child believes me. Yes, your child should be trusting you that things will not be vanished, that he will not be diverted for for the need of for the other person's need yes i mean whatever is promised they will get it i can get that if my if my parent has promised to give me something she will give me something uh, she will give me that thing so that is the trust that you got to develop with your child at this point of time whatever age your child is in doesn't matter whatever age your child doesn't doesn't matter but your child needs to feel trusted that yes my parent trusts me and yes I can trust my parent when my parent has told something okay I get it I can get back to it it is for me I can get back to it yes and if you're actually worrying about um, the screen issues screen time issues and all of that just go back to one of the videos that I've done already done earlier and uh, you will find your answers to that question yes so the point is establish trust with the way, not with what you are doing to your child, but with but by how you are being with your child. Doing physically, peripherally, all good, all looks, all looks good. But how are you being with your child? What do you think about the child? Right? What are your fears about whatever is happening? What are your concerns that are kind of coming out towards your child? So you, the point is this, you got to establish trust with your child and your child should be trusting you that yes, I can trust my parent and then you will see that magic happening that okay, this is, this, this will be the here better. You can come, come back to it. Maybe you can just eat your lunch now. Maybe it's becoming late. I have to clean up the kitchen and there are some kind of dependencies. Yes, make the child again, just, just give that awareness to the child that Yes, I need to clean up stuff and for that you need to finish up something. And uh, yeah, after doing that, you can get back to it. And once the child trusts you, once this trust is established, he will understand your need. It is not about the child listening to the parent, but it is about you understanding the child's need, your child understanding your need and acting trustworthily, acting with trust. Yes, so make sure you do this. The next, the next conflict that you have with your child, it is not about convincing the child to do what you ask him to do, but it is about establishing, establishing trust. So make sure you do this. And uh, under, this, under this video in the description box, there's a link for Telegram group. You can just click on that and join the Telegram group where I keep posting various other updates of my free masterclasses that, ha that keep happening regularly. So stay in touch, stay connected and if you find this useful, if you find this valuable, make sure you like the video and subscribe to this channel and hit that bell button. Cheers. Thank you. Bye-bye.